Here's what you need to know about the extreme value theorem. There are two conditions to check. One, f must be continuous, and two, f must be on a closed interval a to b. Then, f must have an absolute max and an absolute min on the closed interval a to b. Here's how this applies. If we have the function f of x equals x squared minus 8 on the closed interval negative 1 to 10, does the extreme value theorem apply? First thing we must do is check the conditions. Is it continuous? Yes, this is continuous because f is a polynomial. Two, is the interval closed? Yes, the interval goes from negative 1 to 10, and the endpoints are included. How about this one? Does the extreme value theorem apply for g of x equals x squared over x minus 1 on the closed interval 0 to 1? First, we must check, is it continuous? Well, the function is a rational function which is continuous on its domain, but the domain does not include positive 1. That would make the denominator undefined. So this function does not satisfy the conditions for the extreme value theorem, even though there is a closed interval. How about this one? h of x equals cosine of x on the interval 0 to 2 pi. Well, yes, it is continuous because trig functions are continuous on their domain, and cosine's domain is all real numbers. But notice the right endpoint is not included, so the extreme value theorem does not apply. How about this one? This is very similar to the one we did previously, x squared over x minus 1. First, we want to check, is the function continuous? The function has a discontinuity at x equals 1, but that is not on the interval. So the function is continuous, on the given interval. Second, is the interval closed? Yes, the interval is closed. The endpoints are included. Therefore, the extreme value theorem would apply to this function on this interval. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more AP Calculus help.